We are living in apocalyptic times, as many saints and mystics have prophesied for centuries. It is not by chance that in the past 150 years, we have witnessed so many Marian apparitions, all aimed at preparing us for what is to come. From La Salette, Lourdes, Fatima, Garabandal, Akita, to Medjugorje, we have received warning after warning. Our Lady has come to tell us that we must return to her son while the world is being dragged down by anti-Christian ideologies. As Sister Lucia of Fatima once said, the final battle between good and evil will be fought over the family. Today, we are at the center of this moral conflict, but it will soon manifest more tangibly. The current scenario pits two groups against each other that, despite seeming to be on opposing sides, are influenced by the same evil forces, like two sides of the same coin. So, what should Christians do? How should they prepare? Here, we will discuss the latest instructions that Father Michel Rodrigue received and shared with Javier Reyes Errol at the end of September 2024 on how we should position ourselves and act in this context. We remind everyone to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. Today, no one can escape the reality that we are in an imminent conflict where the evil one seeks to consolidate his global dominion. Tensions between Israel and neighboring Arab nations are increasing steadily, while Russia and NATO face off, and Europe is experiencing mass migrations and internal conflicts. If someone had told me 25 years ago that today we would be on the brink of a third world war because of the situation in Ukraine, and that the Catholic Church would undergo such transformation, I would have doubted it. Yet, this is what we are witnessing now. Father Michel Rodrigue, along with other Marian apparitions like Garabandal and Medjugorje, has been guiding us on how to prepare. The message is not one of fear, but a call to conversion, hope, and trust in divine providence. Javier Reyes Errol told Mark McLean at the end of September 2024 that God the Father communicated to Father Michel Rodrigue that his mission is almost completed and he should wait for new instructions. Until these new messages are given, he must remain in his monastery in Quebec and refrain from transmitting more messages, for everything has already been said. Now, everyone has the guidelines and instructions to take the necessary steps and prepare for what is to come. In this context, it has been requested that the faithful pray fervently for Lebanon, which will face a severe trial. It is also important to continue praying for Europe, particularly for France and England, and to keep an eye on the situation in the Middle East, which will worsen and become even more critical next year. This war that is being prepared should be seen clearly. It is a conflict between NATO and an alliance including North Korea, Russia, China, and Iran. The scenario already resembles a world war involving two major coalitions vying for global dominance like two opposing sides of the same coin. God the Father told Father Michel that his children should not fall into Satan's traps, which aim to corrupt souls through fear, despair, anger, and judgment. Instead, it is crucial to maintain inner peace and trust fully, surrendering at the feet of Christ's cross. This surrender will be the path to salvation, both spiritual and physical. The message is clear. We must surrender to the Lord as best as we can, pray constantly, confess monthly, receive communion every Sunday, meditate on the rosary daily, and trust completely. It is also essential to consecrate ourselves to the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, bless our homes, and follow heavenly instructions conveyed not only by Father Michel, but also by Medjugorje and other contemporary apparitions. Before chaos reaches its peak, like in an Armageddon scenario, God will intervene to prevent total destruction. Although the losses may be greater than those caused by the First and Second World Wars combined, He will act to preserve creation. A turning point will be when France faces partial invasions and internal unrest. Its allies will not come to its aid, and the Americans, who played a crucial role in previous conflicts, will not be present either because they are under severe attack or focused on another front, such as the Pacific. A few years ago, 
Father Michel was allowed to see a vision of a possible attack on the United States. He observed lines of smoke rising from northern Russia, crossing the North Pole, and extending across Canada, as if they were missile trajectories aimed at U.S. territory. However, in a gesture of heavenly intervention, he saw the divine hand deflecting most of these ballistic weapons, pushing them off their original course. Only seven cities appeared to have been hit. At that moment, the voice of God the Father spoke, revealing that the protection granted to the United States was due to the fervent prayers of many Americans praying the chaplet of divine mercy. God will also send a great warning, known as the illumination of conscience, and this will happen in the midst of a military conflict in Europe. The warning will be given just as the leaders are about to press the launch buttons, for the Lord will not allow His creation to be destroyed by human hands. At the darkest moment of this conflict, God will intervene to save mankind. But what will that warning look like? Each person will see the true state of his soul without veils or illusions. Everyone will experience the unquestionable reality of God, the existence of His Son, and the truth of the Catholic Church. Each will clearly understand where his soul would be if he were to die at that moment. There will be countless conversions, for for 42 days the devil will be bound, unable to interfere. After that period, he will be released, and then the Antichrist will be revealed, bringing the conflict to an even more terrifying phase. Those who are chosen will be guided to the shelters by their own guardian angels. When we are sheltered, either in our own homes or in God's appointed places, the time of the great persecution will begin. These shelters, however, must have at least one source of drinking water, such as a well or spring. Those who are assigned to these places will have a cross of light on their foreheads, visible only to the angels and to those who prepare these shelters. In the eyes of the unbelievers and enemies of God, these places will become invisible, as if they completely disappeared from the map. In some of these shelters, the stay may last about three and a half years, and it is possible that as time goes by, supplies will become scarce. However, God has promised that in times of dire need, He will grant miracles of multiplication to all those who trust in His messages. Whether it is food, water, or even medicine, He will provide in extraordinary ways for those who stand firm in faith. These are the guidelines given to keep us safe in the face of possible world war and impending persecution. In the end, it behooves us to reflect. Are we really prepared for these events described? How are we preparing ourselves to face what is to come? Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.